My name is Farah Ispahani. I'm a member of parliament in Pakistan uh, for the Pakistan People's Party, which is best known as the party of Ms. Benazir Bhutto. Uh, my husband is the Pakistani ambassador in Washington, so I have a very busy life going back and forth between parliament and Pakistan, and I'm also media advisor to the president of Pakistan. Everyone really wants to know about the life of women in your country. Can you tell us what it's like to be a woman in government? Well, as I said, I come from the political party that was led by Ms. Benazir Bhutto, who was the first prime minister in the Muslim world. And she really, our party in particular, is probably the most liberal, uh, the most secular. Uh, we have the most uh, minority representatives, also of non-Muslims. And so I must say, our party is um, probably a more nurturing uh, party than most. But obviously, um, Pakistan is full of challenges for women. There are still um, not that many. But today, the younger generation, I must say, I'm, you know, I'm today in my 40s. Um, the generation I see coming out of colleges today in their mid-20s, uh, late 20s, early 30s, impressive young women. And, you know, women who are not self-conscious about themselves, who go out, and I see them in politics. I was a journalist for many years. Um, you see them in journalism in Pakistan. They're covering um, bombings. They're covering Taliban. They're covering um, fashion shows. So um, Pakistan has today engineers. We have fighter pilots. So. Our, our government and what people like myself personally want to do is every opportunity we've had, maybe pass that on to 10 young women, mentor them and help them get a break because one does need the nurturing and the support. Now, with you representing your district back home and your husband working here as the ambassador, that has to present some unique challenges for you. Now, as the woman, how do you keep your, your, your marriage going well whenever you both have such unique careers? It, it, it's incredibly tough for three years now. Um, but the only thing which makes us feel like we can do it and survive is A, we have a passion for Pakistan and we also have a passion for politics and journalism because both of us have both been journalists and are in politics. But basically it's serving. It's serving Pakistan and this is a unique time in Pakistan's history. We have to fight the militants, we have to fight the extremists and so each of us has to do a bit. We can't sit back and have comfortable lives. Yes, it would be lovely to be in a car, being driven around Washington and going to parties, but there's a lot of important work for me to do at my end and for my husband to do here. And one day that will change, but I hope that after we've had democracy for some years. Any hopes for higher office for you? <laughs> Oh, good Lord, I'm so tired already. I hope I can mentor somebody who can go to the next step, like Ms. Bhutto mentored me.